um, I will give a topic about the the BPF memory allocator introduced in six point one, um, and I um, BPF memory allocator is a uh, only context allocator for BPF program by XE. And here the only context means uh, process context, LQ context, and even NMI context, and also the legacy context. Uh, it allow it's used in the hash table, in the hash table and uh, CPU mask and uh, as and uh, there are other use cases. But uh, first, it's used in the hash map to make it to make it usable for. Oh, sorry, the thing is not is not good. Uh, um, and um, during um, when um when I was implementing the the Q the QP try, I I I was trying to to use. I was trying to the to use the BPF the the BPF memory allocator, but I found there are some problems with it. And the first problem is the immediately reused problem. And this is that and this is a problem I'm I'm working on. And the problem is in now in BPF memory allocator, the freed element uh, may be reused immediately. So, uh, and the direct result is if the hash table using the BPF uh, allocator and uh, uh, if there are concurrent uh, BP, uh, if, if there are concurrent uh, hash, ta hash table lookup and uh, deletion, the lookup may return uh, in re uh, return uh, in re uh, in re incorrect result. And uh, um, this is. Uh, the result when I when I when I trying to when when I when I trying to do when I trying to do when I trying to write a separate test for the hash map, for the hash map and uh, there are its other influence in, include uh, QP try may doesn't work uh, correctly and the re the reason and the the reason is that the Q the QP try includes the leaf loader and the interloader. If the in because the inter their point their their the their points their points in the interloader of the QP try. If the interloader is freed and is reused, the lookup in the QP try may be crushed or it may panic the kernel. Yeah, <clears throat> and uh, I think the possible solution is. Uh, uh, is trying to implement a new flavor of BPF memory allocator. It's called uh, uh, reuse after GP. And the idea is from LXC. Um, it it trying it will not do the immediately reuse. It will reuse the, the freed element after one SUGP and the freed after another task trace SUGP. So the freed element will, will not be reused, will not be reused. It will be reused after one SUGP. So the hash table loop the hash table lookup pro problems and the QP try will work correctly. But it have but it have some bad <clears throat> bad effects such as the memory usage will the memory usage will increase. Mm. I have pasted the result in the baseline patch set. Also, the performance also the performance is degraded. Except uh, except the uh, only one have only question. Are there any questions or comments? Um, currently not. 
Okay. Uh, do you have oh, do you have performance numbers from this V3? Not yet. Oh. Um, I pasted it in the pad set. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. I forgot to paste it here. Okay, I will go to the 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 next issue. I have I have um, is to be done here, and the problem is the problem is um, now there's a BPF global memory allocator, and uh, um, first problem is is closing its allocation from the root C group, so that so. They can they cannot limit its over overall usage because there's no limitation on the root C G and the root C group. Yeah. And I'm 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 also not sure if they only need to free its memory during memory shrink because for for the BPF for the global memory allocator, it is uh it's uh it's a catch set. Yeah, there are multiple memory allocated catch in it. So maybe I think is it is it okay? Is it uh, okay? Is it okay to free its its catched element during the memory pressure? Yeah, that's that's the first issue, and. Uh, the uh, the uh, another issue is uh, the because unlike the unlike the memory allocator in the hash table, the the global memory allocator is uh, there's a low destruction, and it it will ex exist all the time. And now in the BPF allocator, there's only one pending free callback. So let's assume that if there's low free call on CPU X. The pending frame element on CPU X will not be freed, so it may be a problem. For now, the um, for, for now the 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 slumber system there's there's a shrink. We can we can add a shrink for uh, there's a, there's a shrink in in the slumber system, so could. Can we could you? Uh, there is only need to add uh, a shrink for the for each BPF memory allocator or the global memory allocator. So if there is a shrink, so we we can we can try to wait. We can try to free its uh, catched element during the memory pressure. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure whether or not is. Uh, that's needed. Oh, and for the and for the second issue, I think maybe uh, maybe it's possible. Maybe it's okay to start the time to check whether or not there is still freeable element after the counter RCU callback is completed. And uh, this is the the issues of the PPF global memory allocator. But uh, mm, and uh, the thing I want to discuss is why the, is whether or not this problem are are okay. But it's not okay. Uh, why the or not this problem are solvable? Is worth to is 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 worth to solve. So uh, my take is like before adding shrinker, we need to measure whether uh, memory that's sitting unused inside this uh, global memory allocator whether it's actually significant in any way, right? So it's supposed to be like in kilobytes. Like last time I measured, it was because every per CPU uh, free list was small, and watermark was like on average 32. So even if you have like 32 pages, the 
that's well, yeah, thirty two by four or what if you have bigger page size, but still it's still way less than a megabyte uh in memory. So like shrinking that doesn't seem that worse the code. But if it's a real issue, then yeah, we can definitely consider shrinker, but not sure what exactly it will do. Right. What we discussed briefly, once we get to floating uh low and high watermark, then we would need some logic where it's like automatically adjust uh, high low limits and then we would need shrinker that would uh, turn these limits down and will free the memory. So the memory that you saw uh, while doing the benchmarking for the uh, free after GP was all sitting in the color CU, color CU test trace callbacks, right? So shrinker will not help in this case because this is memory anyway, they're just waiting for grace period to be freed. So that's not a shrinker job. Shrinker can only look at the uh, free lists and potentially like I'd free the memory from there and only if this lists are long, but currently they're like 32 on average. So that's like pretty small. So I currently I don't see the need for shrinker. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I will I will try to measure the total memory of the BPF global MA first. Yeah. And you another, said it's another the only point yeah, another point you're making, which is also a good one. So it's the global MA. Currently, we did it on, yeah, it's global, uh, comes from the root CG. This is not great. And uh, we've had a lengthy discussion uh, on the mailing list, like what to do. Like we try to introduce memory locator as an object, uh, as like a, some kind of special map type. And then the program will be able to select it but then there are like uh, issues with destruction, like who comes first and what deletes first. So we kind of punted this problem to later. Um, we can like revisit this if this is really an issue. It just like currently it seems to me there is no, yeah, not sure what this issue at all. But yeah, until we measure it and see that is indeed a problem, yeah, it doesn't seem that worse like adding a bunch of code to solve a potential issue. Okay. That's okay, that's to the major first. Okay. Uh, I will move to the to the last and also the the last issue. Uh yeah, <laughs> it's uh <laughs> it, it's a problem of a CPU hot plug, yeah. Um the reason, uh, the, the reason I why I found it because I was trying to do some CPU hot plug during test and I found it seems uh, that uh, currently the BPF memory allocator doesn't do the CPU plug and uh, the Slambo system uh, did did implement it. So uh, should we implement implement the CPU plug for BPF MA allocate? As uh, well, what's mm. uh, what's an effect of it not uh, not not being notified and not doing anything on the hot plug? So, like for the case of hot plug, I can imagine that when the CPU is being removed, yeah, it's like the thirty-two elements uh, by number of caches, so it's thirty-two by eleven, whatever, three hundred elements of different sizes. Uh, they are not freed, yeah. so this is potential like waste when the CPU is going offline but that's basically it, right? So that's the only issue I can see. It's, yeah, some memory is wasted when CPU is offline. Do you see any other issue yeah. here? Uh, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the waste is the major issue, I think, yeah. Yeah, but again, let's measure what's exactly we're wasting. Like how much memory is being like wasted on average? Like if it's again but less than megabyte, yeah. is it really well? I guess depends, right? If it's if it's an yeah, easy, yeah, if, yeah, if it it's depends. if the, if the, if the amount of code that will just flush the free list is small, then yeah, sure, makes sense to do. But then, uh, but then again, like we we, we uh, got we got to be careful because the MA uh, doing this fancy uh, lockless stuff, so we don't like introduce more issues in the hot pass. Uh, when we're doing the hot plug. Okay, okay, okay. I, I see, I see, I see your point. I call it in point. 
Yeah. Mm. For now, I don't have the, some really workload to test the the memory waste of the CPU hot plug problem. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, because, as I said, the major problem is the memory waste. So I think. Uh, if it, it's uh, there's low support, there's low hot plug support in BPF, in BPF MA, it's, it's okay as well. Yeah, it doesn't have um, other problems. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, so just to be fair, like we don't have hot plug support anywhere in BPF, and we have pre allocated per CPU things forever uh just a regular hash map it's always like pre-allocated and pre-allocates on all cpus and nothing frees those per cpu freely so we probably have much bigger wastage in case of yeah. cpu being offline than this particular bpfma which is tiny comparing to uh like a regular hash map like you have a regular hash map you have whatever 90 CPUs and it's a big uh, whatever flow lookup hash map that consume four gigabyte of memory. One CPU goes down, that's significant. So that would be a bigger uh, low hanging fruit if you really care about CPUs being offline for a very long time. Yeah, mm. I, I, I see your I see your point, but uh, <laughs> but I think so. The, the problem of memory of memory link is still a problem to fast. Yeah. True. <laughs> oh, um, okay. Thanks. <clears throat> okay. Um, my pre my presentation is over, and uh, there are only other questions. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah.